Hello friends, today our topic of discussion is Average Annual Daily Traffic or AADT. AADT is required in many applications in highway and transportation engineering. This AADT is the average 24 hour counts collected every day of the year. So in a simple terms, if you collect the data on a road or on a segment of highway for 365 days in a year or 366 days of the year, then average of these 365 or 366 values is the AADT. There are two methods of calculating this AADT or determining AADT. One is simple average method which is adopted in many studies and this method as I told you it requires the volume count on each day of the year. So you have the data for each day and then AADT is given by this equation 1 by n summation of V O L K. V O L means volume where K is 1 to N. Now N here is the number of days in a year that can be 365 or 366 and volume K is the traffic volume on the road for kth day of the year and that is why the K is from 1 to N. So again average of 365 values or 366 values is the AADT that is simple average method. Another is ASTO method. ASTO method is also called average of averages method. Now this does not require the data on all 365 or 360 days. 366 days of the year. It only requires 84 data set. 84 data. And it incorporates 84 averages. 7 averages for the day of the week for each of the 12 months. So 12 into 7 is 84. So what basically this method is that AADT is given by this equation 1 by 12 summation of m is equal to 1 to 12 into 1 by 7 summation of j is equal to 1 to 7 into 12 months of the year 7 days. Now this is same as this one. This volume IJM is the daily volume for ith occurrence of the jth day of the week within mth month. So there are 12 months m is equal to 1 to 12. There are 7 days in a week j is equal to 1 to 7 and this is jth, week, jth day of the mth month. That is the average. Now this is called average of averages method because it takes average twice average of the day and average of the month. 84 data are required. Now let me just explain to you how it works. Working of ASTO method. As I told you it requires 84 data. So you first collect daily volume data for 7 specific days of the week for each month of the year. Remember M and J. Okay. Collect for seven specific days of the week. Collect traffic data. Let us say you are collecting data in the year 2024 and the, in the month of January you say Monday. Monday in the month of January is on 1st of January. So take this data. 
for January 1st. Another in the, in, the, in the month of February, this will be on 5th of February, Monday. So take data on Monday in the month of February. Then similarly for March, 5th March or maybe 12th March, but specific to Monday. Right? So you have 12 data here. For each month of the year, you collect data on Monday. Monday. Similarly, Tuesday. Now you go to Tuesday. Take data on January 2, February 6 or March 6 and so on. Again, 12 set of data. Similar exercise you do for Wednesday, for Thursday, for Friday, for Saturday and Sunday. Then these are now for each, for the, for the year you have now 12 data here. 12 data and then you have 7 days in a week, so you have 84 data sets. So let us say on 1st January you collected the data and it was 10,000 vehicles per day. Daily traffic. On February 5, it was 14,500. On next month, every one day. Okay. And then similarly, you have data for April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November and December. Similarly, these data, let us say for January 2, you have 15,000 vehicles per day. On February 6, the count is 13,000. On March 6, it is 15,000 again. And similarly, you have up to December. December, some date in December where Tuesday falls. So you have the data. Wednesday, again 12 data. The first step is to take the average of these 12 data. Average of data collected on Mondays in the month. And let us say you have this average equal to 15,400. And another average you get from here. Let us say this is for Tuesday, this average is 11,500. Similarly, you have average on Wednesday, average on Thursday, average on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So you have seven values now. Now these seven values are coming from averages. Now then take average of these seven values. Average of seven values. These seven values are average of 12 values. That will be the AADT. So let us say the average of daily traffic collected on Mondays is 15,400, on Tuesday it is 11,500, on Wednesday it is 12,000 and on Sunday it is 10,000. Then AADT will be sum of all these values divided by 7, average of these, average of these will be 86,200 that is the sum of all these values divided by 7 and that is 12,314 vehicles per day. That is the AADT as per ASTO method. ASTO method requires lesser data, less manpower, less resources. Whereas AADT by a simple average method is quite challenging when it comes to field data collection. This AADT is required in many applications. It is an indicator of the traffic load on the road. Higher the value of AADT, more will be the traffic on the road. And it is also used in calculation of vehicles, miles traveled. AADT multiplied by section length multiplied by 365 is the VMT. And VMT is used in accident analysis. AADT is also used to forecast traffic for the future. So if you have the AADT for last few years, then you can find out what the trend of the rate growth of the traffic on the road. 
It is also required in transport planning applications, in fund allocation. A road with higher value of AADT will require more funds than a road with lesser AADT. It can be converted to design volume also and direction of volume also by multiplying it with appropriate factors. So there are several applications of AADT. I have, sim I have explained to you how it is calculated. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, do write in the comment box.